and stays up. So for me, uh, for the cat I'm going to do today is head and shoulder, and for me the biggest part is having um, all of our turns correct. This is the bit that we kind of maybe make some mistakes on, so we're going to go through that as the warm up, and then we can add it to the kata as we go forward. Okay, so can everybody put their right leg forward for me please first? Okay, perfect. So the first one we're going to look at is uh, the stepping back turn. Okay, so we're not going to use our hands as yet, we're just going to concentrate on our legs. So, with your front foot, can you take a big step back with your front foot? And then just keeping your feet where they are, I want you to rotate your body to face the other way. Perfect, and then we're going to repeat. So, take that front foot, big step back as far as you can, and then twist. Perfect, so you have your right leg forward each time, okay? So, big step back up, and twist. Okay, now this time, we want to start twisting as we step. So, as we step, we're going to start turning, and then we end with our right foot forward. One. Perfect, front foot back. Two. Get a little bit quicker. Three. One more, five. Okay, now I just want to show you slightly uh, the angle that I'm moving. So sometimes what I see is people step straight back. So then when they turn, they have this kind of crossed over feeling with their legs. Okay, not kind of what we want. So we want to take our right foot back diagonally. And then we can twist, giving our stance that shoulder width apart. Okay, so right leg forward. We're going to step that leg behind us diagonally and then twist to open up our stance to as wide as our shoulders. Ready? Itch! Stepping back diagonally. That's it. Good. Itch! Up! Chi! And one more. Go! Okay, good. Perfect. So this one is what we're going to call the step back and turn. Okay, we're calling it that for the obvious reason that we step back and then we turn. Okay, so this one slightly different. Um, left leg forward, please. Now this one super easy, uh, probably the easiest one of them all. This is the in and out turn. Okay, so all we're going to do with our front foot, we're just going to bring our front foot in and then out to the side. So just a ninety degree turn. Okay, bring that front foot in. And out. Front foot in and out. Front foot in and out. So you can see that we kind of always going around in a circle. Okay? So four turns will give us a full rotation. Ready? In and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Perfect. Okay. Good. One more set. Ready? Itch. In and out. Okay. Two. Three. And four. Okay. Brilliant. So, they're the first two turns that we're going to look at. Okay. Uh, the next one is the more difficult one. So, this is what I call the long turn or the all the way round turn, uh, things like that. Okay, so can we put our right leg forward this time? Yeah. And then left leg, your back leg is going to go across behind you. Okay, can we try that? So the left foot goes across and then we just twist again. Okay, but we need our right leg forward, so this time we step forward and punch. One. Yeah. Back foot across. And turn two. 
Step forward, palms one. Back foot across and turn two. And step. And stitch the right leg forward now, guys. Just check. Then left foot comes across and turn one. And step. Okay. So one more round of that. So left foot across. This time let's implement the block. So the hand on your hip, up to your hip. From there, we're going to put our back foot across, we're going to turn and make one more. That's nice. Step forward and punch. Two. Hand on your hip, up to your ear. Back foot across, turn and block. That's nice, guys. Get it. And punch. A little bit sharper. Hand on your hip, up to your ear. Back foot across, turn and block. Punch. Hand on your hip up to your ear. Back foot across, turn and block. And punch. And down. Okay, so there are our three turns that we're going to work on uh, within our kata today. Okay, so we've got the step back and turn, the in and out turn, and the long turn. Okay, now with the long turn today, we're going to have two different variations, so we'll come to that within the lesson. Okay, hands on your hips. Just heads over, nice and loose. Good, up and down. Left and right. Good, half on. Good, arm circles. So big circles with your shoulders. So I see lots of people kind of doing this. Let's get those shoulders working. Nice and big. Good, other way. Arms cross. And twisting. Good. Hands on your hips. Circle around, please. Nice and loose. Let's see it. Other way. Okay. From here, it's going to flex. So down one. And up. Good. So each count, down and up. Two. Those of you are that are red belts, 
your kata is very similar to that of kion kata. Okay, so lots of movements are going to feel very familiar. Other movements will be a little bit new, but you'll get hold of them quite easily. Okay, so first of all, step into your left. With your left foot, badge hand up to your ear. We're going to step out and make a nice long run. One. Perfect. Okay. So as we know, after a block, we've got to add in our punch. Two. Good. And we step. Okay. So just again, okay, just a reminder of these first movements. Now, we will, every time we've got a block and a punch, then we should start to maybe think about combining those movements. Now, not rushing them so they just go one and kind of flow into the next one. Still making sure they finish, but have a feeling of blocking and then punching. Okay, ready? Left leg to the left. Ready? Itch! Good. And punch. Perfect. Okay, so this is where we can start adding that first turn. So the first one we said was going to be the step back and turn. Okay? So we're going to take a nice long step back with our front foot. Hand coming up to our ear. And then we're going to twist and make one look on the spot. Perfect. Okay? From here, this is where we have the first new move. Now the first new move we're going to be is what we call Tetsu. This is a hammer fist. So can you bring your hand in? Up. And then we're going to drop this down, hitting onto the nose and through. Okay? So not keeping it too high, but hitting down like a hammer. Okay? So if you see that, like a hammer. You're using the hammer part to come down and hitting on top of the nose, maybe the, uh, uh, the collarbone, etc. Okay? And reset. Perfect. So we'll add those in. So to your left first. Ready? Big one, one, punching two. So this is the step back and turn. Front hand in, front leg in, step back and turn. So for today we're going to call this the bop on the nose. Okay, just to remind us what it's for. We're going to bring that in one and hit it down two. Perfect. Okay. After that, we're just going to go in and add a punch. And yamet. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, so five moves to think about. Okay, watch me first. I'm going to go groin block, punch, step back and turn, pop on the nose or hammer fist, and another punch. Okay, ready? To the left first. Ready? Itch! Groin block. Punching knee. Good. Step back and turn. Front foot in, front foot out. Itch. All the way through. That's nice. From there, bop on the nose. Two. And step forward, punch three. Okay. Now, the easy one. Okay, the easy one. The in and out turn. So your front foot and your front hand comes in. One. And then turn towards me and block down in a one block two. That's left hand in, left hand out, heading towards me. Lovely. Now, in Kionkata, we would step forward here and do three punches. But for hand showdown, it's really important to remember that we're going to do three head blocks. Okay? So, we've got our left foot forward, we've got our groin block out. First thing, instead of punching, step forward and head block. One. Good. Now, if you've been watching the Keon class, there's remember. Body to the front for attacking. Body to the side for blocking. That's nice. Ready? Two. Good. And then, adding a Kiai, step forward, head block. Three. Eight. And reset. Perfect, okay. Everybody happy with that? Let's have a quick, quick show of thumbs. Okay, especially for my red belts out there, okay? Because I know it's, uh, it's not easy. It's not the easiest of catches when you're learning. For the high grades, 
You know, as I said, try it over if you're finding it a little bit simple, because there'll be plenty of things to kind of catch you up on that side. Okay? So, you know We go again. So, whenever you're thinking about which leg to move or which hand to use first, always remember, use your left leg. Okay? Or your badge side. Okay? The badge is there to help us remind us which side we want to use. Okay? So, head into your left, big groin block. Itch! Big groin block. That's nice. Add in the punch, two. Good, so this is the step back and turn. So, not straight back, but backwards diagonally, and groin block, one. Good, the bop on the nose, two. And step forward, punch, three. Okay, towards the camera, towards me. Groin block, in and out turn, one. Perfect. Now, three head blocks. Itch. Knee. And kiai thumb. Up. And back to line, go. Okay, so I'm going to point which direction I would like you to go. And I would like you to do those movements. Okay, so you go. So first of all, two movements to your left. Groin block and a punch. Ready? Both moves. Go. Block, punch. Hold it there. Now we're going to step back and turn. Add in the bob on the nose. And then add another punch. Okay? So stepping back, turn, bob on the nose, punch. Ready? Go. Step back, bop and punch. Perfect. Good. That's it. Make sure you have your non-badge side forward. Okay. On the turn, add the bop, and then punch with your badge head forward. Okay? That's brilliant. So towards me, in and out turn, groin block, and then three of your best head blocks with the key eyes. That's four moves in total. Ready? Begin. Groin block and head block. Head block, kiai. Perfect. Okay. So now, this is the turn that we uh, kind of struggle on mostly. Uh, because it's a little bit more difficult. The turn is a little bit bigger. But, remember, big, long stances. Okay, this will help. If you have a smaller stance, then sometimes we get a little bit confused as to which foot should be where. Okay, so watch me. I'm going to put the hand on my hip. Up to my head. My back foot is going to reach all the way across as far as I can. And I'm going to turn and make one look. One. Okay, good. Let's go back. Let's try that one again. So, right, left leg, right, right leg forward. That's it. So, your left foot is going to go across behind you as far as it can go. That's it, and then twist and make one. That's it, so you should now have your left leg forward, heading this way, yeah? Good. Okay, so stepping forward, punching, one. And now we're back to that same position. So step back and turn. Can we remember that? Front foot back behind us, turn and block, one. Good, add the punch, two. Perfect, good. From there, stepping back, okay? We're gonna step back, sorry, in and out turn. Cutting in and out, one. That's nice, okay? So now we're going back the other way. So just check for me, they have your left side forward, yeah? Okay, left side forward. So this time, instead of punches, Sorry, instead of head blocks, back to punches. Okay, back to Kion Kata. Knee punching. Itch. Good. Knee. And one more Kiai Sang. And Yame. And back to your line. Okay, so keep adding up a few movements. Okay, now, as we know with Kion Kata, the second half of the kata is very well, it's exactly the same. With hay and shoulder, there's a few differences, but mainly it's very similar. Okay, so whatever you do uh, on the first half, 
then there's a lot to be taken through to the second half. Okay? Good. Standing ready. So, left hand, left leg to your left side. Drawing block. Ready? Itch. Punch two. Step back and turn. One. Then don't forget the pop on the nose. Two. Good. Punch three. In and out turn with your left leg. One. That's it. So we're heading all towards me now, okay? Now, that's it. Head blocks. Nice and strong. We need one. Two. And then ki Three. Yeah. Okay, super. All the way around her. Okay, so we're going this way. Okay, so we're going to put the hand on the hip up to our ear. Back foot across, turn and groin block. Okay, please check out your left leg forward. Okay, your bad leg. Okay, good. Add the punch. Two. Stepping back turn. Front hand in. Front hand in, front leg in, turn. Groin block. One. Punch two. Okay, now we're heading away from the camera. So front foot in and out. One. Okay, so you should have your left leg forward. Please check. Left leg forward. Ready? Punches. One. Two. And ki three. Perfect. Yummy. Okay, so one more time and then we'll add in that last little bit. Okay, so yo. Left hand, left leg first, okay? So some of you may be watching me and say when I'm saying left leg or maybe have my right leg. I'm gonna be moving the way that you should be moving. So if I go this way, you go this way. If I go this way, then you go this way as well. Okay, so ready, bad hand up. Blocking to your bad side, groin block one, punch two, front foot, front leg, big step back and turn one, pop on the nose two, step forward, punch three, good, take your front hand and your front leg, bring it in and send it towards me, that's it, so it should be your left hand and leg coming towards me, that's nice, ready? Three head blocks. One. Sit heading my way. Two. Good. And then big ki. Three. Okay. So from there, hand on your hip. Up to your ear. And sit back foot reaches across behind you. As far as you can. And twist. Go. That's it. Adding the punch, two. Good, step back and turn, one. That's it, so, punching two. In and out turn, so this time, take your front hand, front leg away from the camera, one. That's nice, good, so it should be right hand and right leg going away from, so heading towards the back. And he punching, one. Two, and then to finish off, ki three. Okay, perfect. Yummy. Okay, so I want to change the way we do that turn now. Okay, so if I just show you here, the hand on my hip goes up to my ear, my back foot goes across, and I turn and make my groin lock in front stance. Okay, what's going to be different here now is I need to use back stance and I used to need to use knife hand lock, okay, instead. So from here, my hand on my hip is still going to go up to my ear, but instead of it being a groin block prep, it's going to be a knife hand block prep. So can everybody do that? Put your uh, left hand up to your ear. Okay, I'm going to open that up like a knife hand block already, okay? Back foot is going to go across the same. 
Okay, and then I'm going to turn, keeping my weight back, I'm going to make nine pound block in back stance. Okay, so all my weight is on my back leg instead of my front leg. Okay, now from here, I'm going to step forward, but not where we normally punch to. We're going to step forward to the corner. So can you take your right hand and leg to the corner? One. Okay, now technically this is still a step back and turn. Because I'm going to step my front foot back and then turn. But the difference is it's nine hand blocking back stance. And then to the corner again, left hand up, down. And then step back down in. Okay, let's try that again. Right hand now in a punch. Nice long stance. Bad hand on your hip. Comes up to your ear. Turn, knife hand. Okay, to the corner, two. Step back and turn, one. To the corner, two. And you have it. Okay. One more time. Watch me first, okay? I've got my right hand now in a nice long stance. And from here, the hand on my hip goes up. I turn and make my thumb block and then cut to the corner. I take a step back and turn and then cut to the corner. Okay, so four nine thumb blocks. So can we put our right hand down on a punch? That's it. So four knife hand blocks. So all the way around first. We're going this way. Okay, ready? One. Good. And then step forward to the corner. Two. That's it. Take your front foot back and turn knife hand block. One. And then step to the corner, two. And yame. Okay, so there's a few elements there to think about, okay? But if we concentrate on getting our turns correct, so the step back and turn, the in and out turn, and the all the way round turn, all the other bits, because we've got a good basis from Kion Kata, will just uh, allow themselves to kind of uh, move forward like, quite easily. Okay, um, but we'll have a few more repetitions, making sure we're getting that. So feet together. Bow, os. Hand, shoulder. Arms cross, joint. Okay, so heading to your left first. Ready? Drawing block. One. Punching, two. That's it, so front hand, front leg, step back and turn, one, that's nice, bop on the nose, two, step forward, punch, three, yeah, can we just check, we have our left leg forward, our badge leg forward, okay, if you're doing it normal, if you're doing it ura, for the high grades, then it'll be the other side, but for now, left leg forward, okay, from there, in and out turn, towards me, with your left foot, one, that's nice. So heading towards the camera now. Head blocks three times. Key eye on the last. Go. One, two, hit it. Ah, big key eyes, big key eyes, okay? So from here, back foot across, turn and one block. Heading that way, okay? Heading to your left. Ready? Lovely. Itch. Punch two. Okay, holding it there, holding it there. Step back and turn. So you're taking your front foot back and turning one block. One. Yeah, punching two. Okay, so now we're heading to the back of the room. Okay, heading away from me this time, guys. Take your left hand in and out. One. That's bad leg in and out. That's perfect. Okay, three. Punches this time. Kiai on the last one. Go. One, two, Kiai. Okay, so this is the hard part. This is the 
new stance and the new blocks. Back stance and knife hand block. Ready? Hand on your hip up to your ear. And it says a left hand up to your ear, back foot across, turn and knife hand block. One. Now with this one, please make sure that we don't turn a little bit. Turn all the way across, as if you were doing your normal groin block, okay? Because now we're going to cut to the corner. Ready? Two. Good. Step back and turn. One. And sit. And then to the corner to finish. Two. And yame. And that was. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go through once by myself for you to watch. And then it's your turn. I'll take it nice and slowly uh, and I'll remind you of the turns as we go. Okay, so please watch. Hian Shoto. Bag side first, always. Stepping back and turn. Pop on the nose. In and out turn. Three head blocks. Hip. All the way around turn. Step back turn. In and out turn. Back to punches. One, two, yeah! All the way around, knife and block. Corner. Step back and turn. Corner. And, and that was. Okay, so now it's your turn. So feet together, right? Hand, shoulder. Arms cross, yoink. Now remember, take your time and do what you can. If you're stuck or there's a bit that you don't quite get, come back and watch it on YouTube later, okay? This is what it's for. This is just to get you moving and have a go and if there's anything you wanna recap on, revisit it later on YouTube, okay? So, in your own time, begin. those corners on those knife out blocks. That's it. All the way to the side and then cut to the corner. Good. Okay. Looking good. Now one last thing to consider uh, when we do kata. And it's, this is kind of for all grades. Okay. When you've done your last move of your kata, don't just relax back to position, okay? Your last movement is still here. Okay, your counter is not over until you bow. So even when you finish, finish with some sort of conviction. Not this kind of finish and I'm done. Okay, finish strong. And then yame. Okay, perfect, good. Feet together. Okay, and that ends our lesson today. So we'll come to the Q&A in a moment there, guys, but just a bow out. Feet together. And stays up. Good, locks up. Eyes closed. Locks up, yummy. Very well, us. Down grades, Q grades, 